Hello, good morning children. How are you all? Welcome back to the class 8 second language English. Yes, these kids are ready to my class. Are you all ready? Yes. Yes then, without taking much time, let's continue the unit 6 all the world has stage in this second session. In the first session, already we have discussed how Sai Paranjipai's life had been changed and her childhood, everything we have discussed. Let us continue to know more about Sai Paranjipai. Are you all ready? Yes. Before that, look at this. Never stop watering the tree. Here, which tree they are talking about? And I will give you a clue. This tree is very, very, very important tree in our life. Everybody must have this tree and everybody must water this tree for each minute. See, I am giving more build up to this tree. Why? Because I have told you this is most important tree in our life. Yes, this is what the tree I was discussing. Which tree? The tree of brain. We must water this tree with knowledge. Each minute we should learn something. Never stop watering the tree. That means we should never ever stop learning. Children, never ever stop learning. Keep on learning, keep on studying at your home, right? Shall we go further? Yes. Yes, he has come with a notebook and a pen. Is he giving any assignments? No, 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 no. Let us see what he is going to say. Hello, friends. Okay, he said hello, friends. Then what do you want, my dear? Oh my God, he said have done my homework. How about you children? Have you done your homework? He has done his homework. Hope you have done your homework and also you got corrected by your teacher. Is it so? Yes then. Come, let us all check what he has written. Okay. Yes. Here is the first question I gave you for the home assignment that was describe how grandfather and Sai enjoyed each other's company. Hope you have written the answer. Let us check what your friend has written. Shall we? Yes. The grandfather and Sai enjoyed each other's company as playmates and friends. How? By skipping, walking, talking, joking, etc. While they were walking, grandfather asked some simple mathematical questions and also related fables to her. But Sai naturally preferred the fairy tales. This was the usual sight seen in the neighborhood of Sai Paranjipai. What they were doing? Grandfather and Sai Paranjipai used to walk every day at the time Sai Paranjipai used to enjoy with the grandfather and grandfather used to ask some mathematical questions and Sai preferred the fairy tales always. Then second question was, why was grandfather very much impressed by Sai's story? Well, how? Let us see. Once while walking, Sai told a fairy tale full of fun with dragons, princes, talking parrots and hidden gold. The complete story was her imagination. Such a little girl, she made the story by herself. So, the grandfather was impressed by Sai's story. Look at this, how beautiful it is. This is the incident which changed the life of Sai. So, hope you have written this answer also, right? Shall we go for the third one? Yes. Here is the third question. What was Sai's first published book? Yes, come on children, say. In her childhood itself, in her early life itself, she has published a book. Can you name that book? Yes, the book is Mulan Chamera, a book of fairy tales, which means my dream child or my favorite child. How beautiful she is, right? In the early life itself, in the childhood itself, she has published a book, Mulan Chamera. Then, we have the fourth question which has changed the life of Sai. That is what described the incident in the library. Hope you have seen in the last session how the incident has changed the life of Sai in the library. Let us see. One day, Sai stepped on a book by mistake. As she rushed into the library, her grandfather became very angry. He ordered her to stop right there. He said that she had done a great mistake. He told her to ask forgiveness of the book. Unknowingly, Sai has stepped on a book. Suddenly, her grandfather has become very angry and asked her to ask a forgiveness of the book. So, she bent meekly and she asked a forgiveness to the book with folded hands. This what we have seen in the last class, isn't it? 
hope you have written the same answers in your notebook then got corrected by your teacher shall we go further yes before going to that look at this yes glossary what he is searching can you think yes he might be searching the new words which we are going to discuss today let us know now the new words along with their meanings and their usage which we are going to learn today shall we yes here is the first word can you pronounce it my dear children it is not jeered it is not jeered it is to be pronounced as jeered how to pronounce jeered what is jeered then can you guess i will give you a clue in kannada neevu nim friends odta irthira adralli mobba friend tappi kaal tappi kelagade bidbidtane avu neevu en martira you will jeer at him you will laugh at him you will mock at him avana hapase martira geli martira that is what the word meaning jeer jeered yes look at the race the participants are going to reach the destination but one of them has fallen down so what do we do at him we should not mock at him we should not laugh at him then don't jeer at the person who came last in the race it's very unkind and also i'm telling you this is the undesirable quality you should leave it off fine shall we go further yes the second new word is crumpled most of you have done this crumpled face yes crumpled the exact meaning is crushed athwa muduru sukku madu anta kannada dal artha baruthe but here in this lesson show signs that one is about to cry ee thana altha nodu ee gattibidta nodu anta helthivu alva that is what crumpled here look at her face there is no tear at all but she is about to cry ee gattibidtale anta anusutte then when we see in the usage her face crumpled when we told her that she could not come with us nin nam jothe barbada antakshane she is about to cry she is she got disappointed look at her face you will come to know then let's go to the third word third word is about glumly most of you have faced this most of you have this expression always glumly is nothing but gloomily or sadly athwa kannadalli mankada athwa baadida mukha anta karithare so hegirutte mankada athwa baadida mukha nona yes he is totally glum why he is glum let's see he said glumly has it was his last day of his college he was going to miss something in his college so he was glumly the next word is sidelines hope everybody has seen this sidelines where in the sports field let's see what does it mean area just outside a sports field is called as a sidelines have you seen the sideline yes here it is so the arrow mark is there no the which is in the white colored line that is the sideline which can be seen in the sports field let's see what she is doing in the sideline she sat by the sidelines of the football ground and watched her friends playing then let's go for the cast a spell of magic look at this sentence cast a spell of magic when i hear this expression i really come to know i really remember swami vekananda because he is such a powerful man with his speech win over or attract someone with his speech or story yaradru tamma maatininda speech inda athwa story inda innobbana attract maartta idare antandre for that we can give the expression cast a spell of magic then look at his powerful posture yes swami vekananda cast a spell of magic in chicago conference through his powerful speech fascinated how wonderful what it is i am also fascinated why will tell you look at this fascinated is nothing but attracted aakarshitanagu anta here look at this beautiful picture of taj mahal how fascinates it is really this fascinates everyone the taj mahal in agra is the most fascinated place in india isn't it children yes then steed hope everybody wants to see this hope everybody wants to have a ride on this steed is nothing but a riding horse 
look at his riding horse who is he in the olden days grooms were brought on a real steed for a marriage ceremony hale kaladalli madve aagu gand makkalana ee riti riding horse alli karkon bartta idru so steed is nothing but a riding horse then children we have come across many new words their meanings and also usage with the help of them now let's continue to read the passage or the paragraph where we have stopped in the first session where we have stopped in the first session do you remember we have stopped in the 11th paragraph so today let us continue with the 12th paragraph in the page number 98 okay and there is a key hope you observed reading is the key to learning if you stop reading then that means you are going to stop the learning so always have the reading habit in you so let's read from the page number 98 are you all ready yes open the page number 98 12th paragraph shall i start have you sat with your books fine 12th one it was not fun for her always she was a bit plump and her mates used to make fun of her she is sai paranji pai let's see what chandu is saying you cannot run with a sai jiat chandru and uh, meera you make our team weak said meera unkindly then devayani never can you keep yourself active you are too fat added devayani like this they were jeering at sai paranji pai then after listening to them sai's face crumpled and she sat glumly by the sidelines watching her friends laugh and play happily but she was disappointed for a moment then suddenly soon her face brightened she cried out ha i know of a lovely game what was that game it's a magic island full of hidden treasure then suddenly what happened the mates those who are playing in the sports ground they came near to the sai paranji pai the mates who were playing gathered around her to listen to her story in no times she cast a spell of magic they not only listened to the fantastic story but were also ready to take roles and act as she directed this went on not for a day or two but for the whole week it has gone up like that she cast a spell of magic on everyone every those who are rejected her they used to come to sai paranji pai to listen to the story then sai was always fascinated by many things in her childhood one of them was dolls wedding this you must know this is a traditional game played by maharashtrian girls then look at the dolls wedding is going on how beautiful it is this is played in maharashtra children children conduct marriage there of a bride doll and a groom doll mantras are chanted has like in our real marriage there also mantras chanted in dolls wedding gad jagri i mean bella and poha bitten rice i mean avalakki are shared in our marriage function we used to have lunch after the marriage here in the dolls wedding they used to give this jaggery and beaten rice as a, as a child she said one day mummy you never let me have any fun complainingly mother said all right you want a wedding well you will have one that you can never forget on that day when she came back from school the whole house looked like a marriage hall then before she could say anything she was dressed like a bride's mother the band arrived the groom rode on a real steed all the children of the locality took part the bride was brought with all religious chantings then the last paragraph 17th one the mother that day so fond of drama grew up to become one of india's leading filmmakers and theater personalities that is none other than leaving legend sai paranji pai so this is what the text from the 12th to 17th we have read isn't it hope you have understood bit right we have come across new words with the help of them we have read the text till now 
Now, I am going to give you a task. Here, I am going to give you some statements. You need to tell me whether they are true or false. Shall we? Yes. Just identify the following statements whether they are true or false. Sai looked very athletic. What do you say? Whether she looked athletic? Yes. Is she looked at athletic? No, my dear children. She was very plump. Then the statement is wrong. Sai used to tell fantastic stories to her friends, isn't it? We have read in the paragraph that Sai used to tell a fantastic stories to her friends, isn't it? Yes. Even as a child, Sai had published a book. What do you say? Has she published any book? Then tell me which book she has published. Yes. Mulan Chamera, then the statement is right. Then the fourth one, Paranji Pai was a senior wrangler, isn't it? Who is Paranji Pai? Paranji Pai was the grandfather of Sai Paranji Pai. Of course, he is a senior wrangler. The statement is right or wrong? Yes, it is right. Sai's grandfather did not take it seriously when she stepped down a book, isn't it? No, her grandfather became very angry and also asked her to ask forgiveness of the book, right? Then the statement is wrong. Then one of the Maharashtrian children's game is marriage of dolls. Yes, we have read it in the text. Sai Paranjipai was fascinated about this. Then it is the right statement. Yes, children, you have done it in a beautiful way. And also this can be seen in your text, page number 100. So, once you have opened the page number 100, just you solve out all this. Then, in the page number 101, you can see important events in the story are given in a jumbled order. Put them in the correct order. Now, I am going to give you some statements or the sentences which occurred in the story. I will give you in the jumbled order. You make it in a order wise, right? Yes. Or here are the important events which took place in the story. I gave you in the jumbled order, you put them in the right order. Sai drawing the attention of the playmates, grandfather telling her to treat books with respect, the usual sight of grandpa and Sai playing together, the wedding of dolls, Sai is telling a story to her grandfather. Finished? Which is the first one? The first one is the usual sight of grandpa and Sai playing together. Then second one is Sai is telling a story to her grandfather. Third most important event in the story is grandfather telling her to treat books with respect. Then what is the fourth one? Sai drawing the attention of her playmates by telling the stories that is the fourth important event took place in the story. Then wedding of dolls that is also very important event took place in the story. So, like this we have ordered it up. Fine then, let me go further. Yes, answer the following questions. How could Sai draw the attention of her playmates while they made fun of her? Very important one. Sai was a fat girl, so their friends used to make fun of her. She has been rejected by everyone. Her friends used to say she was not active and would make the team weak. But she drew the attention by telling the stories to her friends. How she has attracted by telling the interesting stories and making them enact the roles as she directed. So, everybody got impressed by her story. Then next question is what fascinated Sai as a child? Sai was greatly fascinated by dolls wedding a traditional game played by Maharashtrian girls, is not it? Yes. Why is the word mother given within the inverted commas in the 16th and 17th paragraphs? Here, mother refers to the little girl Sai. She was role playing the character of a bride's mother in a marriage of dolls celebrated like a real wedding. So, this we have seen in the text, right? Now, children, very interesting. Here, I gave you a shape. Which shape it is? It is a circle. Yes, this circle is big, right? But I will, I will give you one more circle. Now, tell me which is big in this? The first one or the second one? Yes, of course, the second one. So, how to say this in a sentence? This circle is bigger than the first, is not it? The first circle is small and the next circle is bigger than that. 
then now tell me the third circle is bigger than the second one then how to say this in sentence i have to compare with first and second yes you can this circle is the biggest of all the three look at the words i underlined in the below big bigger biggest this is what we are going to learn today that is what degrees of comparison big bigger biggest how to use them in a sentences how to make degrees of comparison that we are going to discuss today degrees of comparison are used when we compare one person or one thing with another in brief i can say degrees of comparison are used to compare one person to another person let's see degrees of comparison what to compare degrees of comparison words may be adjectives which describes the noun adverbs which describes the verbs right children then degrees of comparison there are three types of degrees of comparison the first one is positive degree second one is comparative degree and the third one is superlative degree once again we'll repeat for you three, there are three types of degrees of comparison positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree yes the positive degree what does it mean the positive degree gives us information keep in mind positive degree just it gives the information how there are some example pretty green smelly small she is a pretty girl he is a small boy it gives just information so it comes in positive degree the comparative degree always compares with another one how look at the first one ant and the second one is cockroach how it is compared both the ant is slower than the cockroach look at that here compared between two objects athwa compared between two things here yes example one more for you the comparative degree the comparative degree is used to compare only two things my dear children the bee is smaller than the bird and let's go to the third one the superlative degree the superlative degree is used to compare three or more objects people or places if it is just giving the information then it is the positive degree if it is comparing with another one comparing with two then it is yes it is comparative degree then when we compare with more than 3 it is superlative degree look at that the ladybug is cuter than the fly but the grasshopper is the cutest of them all look at that ladybug and the fly is compared with the using of cuter but the grasshopper is the cutest of them all av moorannu serisi compare madidare so we need to go with superlative degree one more example for you the yellow butterfly is prettier than the blue butterfly but the pink butterfly is the prettiest of them all isn't it yeah yes to make comparative degree and superlative degree we have some rules here we have safe wide tame has positive degrees to make them into comparative and superlative degree we need to follow some rules how just you need to add r and st to the words that end in e look at that safe wide and tame all those words ends with e the words which ends with e you need to in the comparative degree add r and in the superlative degree you have to add st like safe safe or safest wide wider widest and tame tamer tamest this is the rule number 1 if the word ends with e add r and st right next example large larger largest then we have tame tamer tamest fine rule number 2 if the word ends in y look at that tidy happy lucky ends in y okay agree then change the y to i yes i have changed it in the comparative degree in place of i tidy i have added i yes i did it then add er yes i added in the comparative degree tidier then add est in the superlative degree same thing remove y and add est so tidy tidier tidiest happy happier happiest lucky luckier luckiest like this there are many words which changes into comparative to superlative so make a list of them fine next example heavy heavier heaviest then dirty dirtier dirtiest then 5 plus 1 it is easy comparing to 5 plus 1 3 plus 1 is easier comparing to 5 plus 1 3 plus 1 then 1 plus 1 it's the most easiest right so 
here is the comparison easy easier easiest how easy right yeah rule number 3 when the word has a short sound big hard sad it has a short sound the last letter must be doubled look at that big it has a short sound i am doubling the last letter of the big i mean g look at that in the comparative double g in the big uh, superlative also double c bigger biggest heart hotter hottest sad sadder saddest right big bigger biggest wet wetter wettest rule number 4 when the word has one syllable smart black cold has one syllable and ends with two consonants look at that smart rt ends with two consonants black ck ends with two consonants cold ld ends with two consonants then add er and est to the comparative and superlative degree smart smarter smartest black blacker blackest cold colder coldest how easy it is right rule number five some words do not follow the rules they do not obey at all who are they good better best bad worse worst much more most for them no rules at all example good better best then rule number six words with three or more syllables get more and most before the word look at that words with three syllables beautiful interesting expensive has more than three syllables in it so for them we need to make comparative as more beautiful and in the superlative degree we need to add most so it will be more beautiful most beautiful interesting more interesting most interesting expensive more expensive most expensive fine dangerous yes b is dangerous the second one crocodile more dangerous but comparing to two the third one is most dangerous yes children till now we have discussed the degrees of comparison now it's the time to test you let me check choose the correct form of the word let's see cats are dash then mice what can be big is there dash biggest easily we can say bigger why because look at that here comparison between two when it is comparison between two you can say in a blindly method that is comparative degree cats bigger than mice dogs are dash look at this sentence there is no another object so it is just giving the information so it can be in positive degree dogs are tame then look at this birds are cute bunnies are cuter but cats are the dash pets look at this birds bunnies and cats have been compared so when it is compared with three so it should be the superlative degree yes fine butterflies are dash then grasshoppers butterflies and grasshoppers are only two things it is compared so butterflies are prettier than grasshopper then lions are dash then spiders absolutely lions are more dangerous than spiders these are all the comparative degrees we have seen now i am going to give you some home assignments please do it yes here is the first question how was sai able to win over her friends then second one what surprise awaited sai one day has she came back from school and write all these questions and show it to your subject teacher and complete the task of page number 106 and 107 here in the page number 106 and 107 there are some comparative degrees so please try to write it in your textbook itself yes children i am balaji assistant graduate teacher from halel nadu hiriyur taluk chitradurga district Thank you. See you again in the next class. Bye-bye. Have a good day.